Hi, my name is Jabari Mitchell, a senior at Florida A&M University, majoring in Computer Information Systems. And I'm Michelle Coutinho, a recent graduate from the University of Central Florida. Jabari and I would like to welcome you to the Minority Innovation Challenges Institute. MISI provides a year-round virtual training ground to prepare students to compete in NASA technical challenges. Today we have joining with us several NASA and aerospace leaders to discuss why this program is important to students like you. Joining us are Miguel Rodriguez, Deputy Director for Management within Kennedy Space Center's Engineering Directorate. Gina O'Shaughnessy, NASA's System Engineer with Launch Service Program. Sasha Sims, Analysis Integration Lead for NASA's Constellation Project Office. Winston Scott, astronaut and mission specialist on shuttle flights STS-72 and STS-87, and currently Dean of the College of Aeronautics at FIT. Peter Homer, winner of $450,000 in two NASA Astronaut Glove Challenges. Hortense Burt, Acting Chief of Education at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And Andrew Petro, Manager of NASA's Centennial Challenges Program. Let's get started with our first question. There's significant prize money in NASA Centennial Challenges. Why is NASA seeking students to compete in these challenges? Okay, the Centennial Challenges program does invite the participation of teams from private industry, small businesses, independent teams, and universities. We want to have the widest possible participation because we think that's where the ideas, the best ideas will come from. And, uh, we think students can offer a lot in that way, and it also is a good way for them to begin their careers in uh, helping us push back the frontiers of air and space. It allows students to participate in the missions that NASA has. And then, you know, when you're day-to-day -day working the technical issues as a NASA employee or a NASA engineer or scientist, you may be limited to what you think can be done because you're constrained by what you already know. And as students and challenges, they're not constrained by anything. They have these ideas that, you know, may sound for a fetch, but as you get to working them out, you think, this is a good idea, this is going to work. Why is NASA specifically seeking a diversity of students, and in particular, minority students, to participate in their technical competitions? It is very important to get different backgrounds, uh, different people with different experiences as well as technical expertise because they will bring different notions into the table. It helps think outside the box and come up with new concepts, so it's very important to have a diversity in a team. Well, no matter what you're doing, um, whether it's NASA, whether it's competitions, anything in life, the more diversity you have at the table, the better off you're going to be just the difference that different people will bring and you know we're talking diversity and ethnicity diversity and where people are from and your gender their age all of that brings different flavor to the table do you think students can really compete at the level required for them to win these high stake nasa competitions um, a lot of people don't realize that I also participated as a team in another centennial challenge called uh, Regolith Excavation, and that's basically the moon diggers, the robots that dig the surface of the moon. And um, we didn't win anything in that competition, but there were 22 teams registered, and the team that did win that was led by an undergraduate student from Worcester Polytechnic Institute. So. Um, definitely these are um, competitions that can and are won by undergraduate students, so it, definitely go for it. Hmm, that's good to know. My next question is, what do you think students have to gain by participating in NASA's technical competitions? Well, th there's a lot of things they gain. Number one is when you get involved in this kind of competition, first of all, you build a network. You get to know other uh, students, uh, professors, professionals in the business that allows you to learn more. At the same time, it allows your what I call creative juices to come out. I mean, you're excited with the people you're working with. You get to share ideas. Uh, and therefore, uh, it allows you to, to get a more complete education early on. And it might even help many of these students decide which career path they need to go. Well... 
Most importantly, it will be fun. It's a fun opportunity for students. You get to work with a group of other students that may be or may not be interested in some of the similar things that you are. And I think it would give them an opportunity to do something different, learn how we do business at NASA, learn some of the complexities that, that, we, learn, that we go through here at NASA, and also learn about the challenges that, that we go through and most likely bring things to the table that we can use as we develop our technologies. Now, besides from the large cash prize, the students gain so many ways. First of all, it's fun and it's exciting. And uh, they get to meet other students, so that's a fun thing. Uh, they get to learn the science, they get to learn the theory, the technology. They get to, uh, to in increase their motivation for invo being involved in science and technology. They get to be a part of something that's futuristic because what they're doing really is going to come to fruition in the future. It's going to take our country further out into the 21st century. Uh, it, there, there's no limit to the benefits that, that students gain from participating in these competitions. Those are all good points. Now, do you think that a student who participates in MISI and technical competitions have an advantage when they enter the workforce? Yes, I do. And again, it's because of their experience with being a part of something where they were given a challenge and they had to create, develop, and work with a team of folk. That will always give you an advantage. I mean, if you're a 4.0 student and you have no work experience, all you've done is been gone to school and done a great job, you're an excellent student, and then I have an opportunity to hire a student who may have a, a 2.8 grade point average but has experience working with a company, has participated in challenges, understands what it means to work on teams, that's a much better candidate. Uh, one of the things that the working on the Centennial Challenges um, uh, competition will do is, is um, give students the opportunity to get their hands on real hardware, uh, solve real world problems, and that experience uh, employers in the future will find extremely valuable. Um, in normal university studies you don't get to do it to do that kind of work to this degree and uh, so this kind of experience uh, is extremely valuable uh, to the individual and to their future employer. This question is directed at Peter Homer, winner of the Astronaut Glove Challenge. How did you feel when you discovered you won this competition? When I found out that I won the contest, I have to tell you that my first reaction was complete disbelief and shock. I, um, I had no uh, idea that I would come close to having a winning entry. And how has winning this competition changed your life? How has winning this contest changed my life? Well, as I said, it's um, sort of given me the opportunity to work on something that I never thought I'd work on before. Um, as a full-time job. Um, now I've been, um, again, working on these uh, flexible spacesuit technology and um, trying to take it to the next level and develop some commercial products with that. Um, at the time I entered the competition, I had no thoughts of, um, of going in that direction. It's just something that sort of happened once this door got opened from winning the competition. So it's been a real fun ride, and I'm interested to see where it winds up, but for now I'm really enjoying it. Do you wish that a program like MISI was around when you were an undergraduate student? I sure do. If a program like MISI had been around when I was a student, oh man, I would have jumped on it. When I was a student, we had no such programs. There were no programs uh, such as STEM. There were no minorities in engineering. There were very few student programs in engineering at all, which is why I wound up going to college and studying music. I was, a, I was a student who loved technology, but I didn't understand what technolo technology and engineering was all about until after I arrived at college as an engineering student. So absolutely, I wish programs like that had been around when I was young. I would have gravitated towards those programs uh, uh, in, in a heartbeat. I graduated in 2002, and I definitely wish a program like Missy was in place because I, when I was in college, I didn't know more, much about NASA. All I heard is that NASA would come to my school to hire engineers, and that was the extent of it. So I wish I, there was a program like MISI so that I could learn more about NASA and learn more about the, the many opportunities that NASA has 
to offer to students and give me the opportunity to participate in some of these fun challenges as well. And for our last question, what words of advice do you have for students who are participating in MISI and are considering whether or not to enter a technical competition? Just try it. If you don't try, you don't know if you will enjoy it or not. So anytime that you have an opportunity offered to you, you should take it because there's always something to learn for anything new. So I think they should take the opportunity and go for it because they will make a difference. I would encourage students to just go for it. I think you can achieve anything that you are determined to achieve. You just need to be motivated and be dedicated and just have the attitude to just go for it. You've got to prepare yourself, students, uh, for those crossroads or those junctures in life when they come. You have to be prepared for the opportunities, recognizing those opportunities, and don't be afraid to make the move in that direction. Had I listened to friends and, and, uh, and peers, I never would have gone into the military, I never would have become a pilot, never would have become a test pilot, never would have become an astronaut. So you've got to go with your gut and you've got to have the, the, the nerve or the, the drive, the ambition to pursue your dreams. Don't let anybody deter you from that. Thank you for your input and thank you all for your participation. And to the students, we hope that you've gained some valuable information from today's webcast. And most importantly, we hope that you utilize NASA's MISI program to pursue your dreams. Students, we'd also like to remind you to stick around for the live Q&A session, where you'll have the opportunity to ask questions. Simply click on the virtual room listed on the schedule to participate in this webcast. Thank you.